Two breaks for him. First of all, oh, after his surgery. I was last week and today. After one week, do you have to go back again? I don't think they got it all. Going on? Yeah. Piece of cake. Been through them both. I've talked to this way. Yeah, who's in charge? Well, all of them the next day. I just put the 931 on me. Ready? I'm ready. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. A motion to approve the minutes from last meeting? Motion. Second. Okay, motion by Tom. Second by Bill. Public participation. I would like to talk, if I may. Sure. I'm Carol Hickman. I live at Dahlia Street. I was at the South Mont Borough Council meeting last night, and I, I just want to share what's on my heart. You've heard from me. You've seen letters from me. I've left everybody alone for about six months, and I'm back on my bandwagon again. This is a picture of my beautiful house on 103 Dahlia Street. I moved out of the city of Johnstown because they told me things would be better in South Mont. My taxes doubled, and it's not any better. And I, my neighbor, who also is sitting here, this is a Corvette that's been sitting in front of my house for five months. It has antique plates on it, so it doesn't need to be inspe uh, inspected. It had classic plates, and when it complained that it wasn't inspected. This is a trailer that's in front of my house. This is roofing material, and you'll notice it's licensed in the state of Oklahoma. This is another trailer that's in front of my property. Um, it has motor, tires, I don't know what all, because I'm not mechanically inclined. Here's two more trailers that are in front of my house. One is located, one is, has a California registration, and one has a Pennsylvania registration. I have, this has been 15 months. Now, the one trailer was just added Sunday night. I'll be, I'll be honest with that. But it has just been crazy. Um, I have talked to a number of people. I called Frank Burns and talked to him. He said that if a vehicle is physically inoperable, he got this from PennDOT, that it's considered abandoned, it shouldn't be on any streets as per PennDOT. Okay. Um, the whole front of the house, all my frontage, and my neighbor's frontage is covered with this debris. And I'm sorry if it offends you, but it looks like junk to me. Um, I, I don't know who owns these vehicles, I think, or trailers. I was told by Johnstown Police, one of my, I'm a pastor, and one of my parishioners told me it takes about 30 seconds to find out who owns the California one and the Oklahoma one. It shouldn't, or, yeah, Oklahoma. I think it used to say Arizona, but now it says Oklahoma, but I may be wrong on that. Um, it has turned kind of, I'm a widow, I live alone. Um, it has turned a little ugly. There has been some very ugly things written about me on the Facebook page. Uh, Johnstown, revive Johnstown. Uh, said I'm not a very good effing Christian. Listed the churches I serve. Said that they would call those churches or write to those. I had to get up on a Sunday morning and tell my parishioners what was going on. Um, that's very embarrassing and upsetting. I don't think he would do anything to me, but as he puts all this ugly stuff out on the web page and out for everybody. Um, I don't know what kind of crazy people are out there. I've been the subject of that myself. Yeah, you're not a widow who's 39 years, 69 understand. years old who I lives understand. alone. And you probably pack a piece. <laughs> and I don't. I do. Yeah. And I've been, the, I was a state administrator for 32 years, so I have taken my share of abuse from all kinds of people. Well, my understanding at this point is, and the reason we have is because the property management company has got well, I want to know who owns the vehicle. Who owns those? Chris 
Daylight's more if you check the plates on it. Actually, no, he can't because they're legally parked, okay? And that would be a violation of my Fourth Amendment rights. That would be a violation of anybody's Fourth Amendment rights, actually. They've been there for months, and if somebody from California owns it, I think they ought to come get it. Um, if you own it, I think you ought to move it, but that's another story. I, I just want something done. I have been patient, I have been kind, I have been understanding, and this all started because two other neighbors, Mr. Kalanchar and another neighbor, were having a disagreement, and they've been back and forth to court. I'm not part of that. I don't want to be part of that. I just want to go about and live my life and retire someday and have a good life. That's all I want. And all this stuff, I can't have people come to my house. I'm a pastor. I'm having a, a, a you know, I have Bible studies. I have other things. That's our parsonage. There's no parking at all. I can't mow the grass along the front street. I can't. I can't use my weed eater that much. It hurts my back too much. I see a physiatrist. I have physical limitations. So uh, my 14-year-old granddaughter can't do it either. I, I just want some help. And if Southmont Borough can't help, I want to know, can the police help? Well, since Sean raised the issue, we'll, uh, we'll check with our legalities. But it, and my thought is you filed a complaint. They're on a public street. And I don't see why we can't run them, but I'll check the legalities. And will someone get back to me on that? Well, we're not allowed to provide that to you. No, will you just say it's done or not done? Yes. That's all I, I ask. Yes. But I have a question for a solicitor. Is this a civil matter, John? Well, it depends. So it could be or it could be a criminal matter. So I think, you know, it's something that has to be discussed with the police. I've been patient for 15 months, and I think it's been long enough. Is, is the property... Management, are they dealing with these? That was the impression I got because they sent me photos and stuff. At this point, there were notice of violation issued, but where okay. nothing has been right. determined at this point. I try to, I'm a good citizen. I'm I've never, no you know, I pay my taxes. I'd love to see you guys all get along together. Well, there's, there's the letter that I sent on. to you is posted on the inside of the Corvette, and I find that a little threatening. No, it, I know. And he was asked to take it down, and he did, and then he put it back uh, up. Not more I would love to see than, than you guys all try to resolve this and get along. I mean, I don't want to be part of this. With, we're dealing with crime, you know, and we, we try to get the ordinance violations and stuff like that. And again, like I said, my last notification was that I guess it's Laurel Property Management's dealing with You know, there were trucks there for months that were three years out of inspection. I don't know how you do that. Well, inspection, actually, the Pennsylvania Vehicle Code reads may not be operated on. But it had to be operated on to get there. Got to catch him doing it. I don't have enough officers to sit over there and watch Mr. Clancho. And it can sit there for a year without moving. I, I, I asked South Mount Borough if my tax is going to be reduced since I live in a junkyard. And thank you for videoing me. No problem, Carol. No, yeah. not a problem. When you're done, I'll, I, I, I'll, I'll speak also. Okay. okay. You can have... When it, if they allow yeah. you, you may have the floor. <clears throat> All right. Tell me when if you're ready. Okay. I, anyone if, else? If there's anyone else? Are you finished? I'm finished. Thank you. Anyone else for public participation? Okay. So, my name's John Clancher. I live at 104 Delia Street. Um, I just want to briefly, I didn't come here actually to comment on anything that, that, that she discussed today, actually. I know exactly what my rights are, and I know what the law is, and uh, I mean, obviously, if you could have charged me with something, you would have, okay? So, I don't want to sound like I'm being cocky or I'm being anything, but when you have rights and you don't assert them, sometimes they can be, they can be just walked all over, okay? I want also peace and quiet, and I want to be left alone. I don't want Officer Keslak coming over to my house, acting like he's my friend, okay, and getting information out of me, okay, about my vehicles, okay. I don't need that, or I don't want that. I don't want harassed by Officer Fisher. I don't want harassed by Officer West. I want left alone, okay. 
I understand that, that, that you and my neighbors are great friends, okay, or whatever, whatever, okay, but you guys have talked or whatever, okay. Nobody's ever come to me and said to me, hey, what's the problem, okay? That's a whole separate matter for borough council, okay, that we can discuss. And listen, when this is all, if this could ever be resolved, believe me, and, 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 uh, and Chief Fisher can tell you, I'm actually a pretty nice person. I, can, I really can be. I mean, I realize that I'm critical of, of the government, but they've been critical of me. And that's what I came here to talk to you guys about today. Okay, so and 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 I and and I appreciate just 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 let me go the whole way through this. Okay, first things first, I was accused of threatening borough council yesterday. Okay, and if you read the email very carefully, that was not a threat in any way. What it was was an invitation to watch what happens. Okay, and I cited someone from Granby, Colorado, named Marvin Hemeyer. Okay, if you guys don't know who he is, ask. Any of the officers, they'll tell you who he is, okay? I, I, listen, that's not me, okay? I, what that is, is that's an example of what happens when somebody is pushed and pushed and pushed and harassed and threatened and, and, and just, and just pounded on over the course of a period of time, okay? I just literally want left alone. My mother is blind and I take care of her, okay? That's, that's what I do, okay? The other thing I came here to talk about is this. Transparency in, in, in the government, okay? That's something I am very, that's something I, I, I seek and I, if, I have sent countless rights no requests to many different agencies, okay? And why I'm here today is I wanted to come to you guys in person. In person. I've actually submitted rights no requests to the commission that have, that have not been, that have not been, they've been denied, okay? Or ignored, however you want to look at it, okay? In fact, because because I, I am involved in litigation with the Messina Law Group, you had to hire separate counsel in order to represent the you, the commission in my right to know requests. That's a waste of taxpayer money. What I am seeking, okay, is the same thing that I sought from Upper Yoder Township, okay, your neighbors, okay, which is next door, okay, which is, which is, any and all documents, police reports, incident reports, case files, arrest reports related to and or bearing to the name John Clanshaw from June 1977 present. Include any witness statements, 911 calls, internal reports, and filed by said person, okay? Upper Yoder Township within 24 hours gave me a whole bunch of things about me, okay? I have sought, I have, I have worded the right to no requests 15 different ways, and I've been trying to get what I want to know. Okay, and I'm and I want to assure everyone that any sort of civil rights claim that I could take is the statute of limitations has long passed. Okay, I will say this. Okay, that since Chief Fisher has taken has taken over the department, I have been treated with respect. I have no issues with anything he has done with me. He is a good person for the job, and I commend actually Officer West yesterday for 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 absolutely not violating my First Amendment rights when a council member wanted him to, okay? And I appreciate that. That That's very, thank you. Thank, thank you, Dean. I appreciate that. Um, this is what I'm seeking, Ed, is, is just I, every, every, ins okay? I, I will respond to that as soon as you give me a chance. I, I understand. And, and I know what you're going to say, that, that there is case law. I would just appreciate it because, that's because that's, that's what I want, is this, okay? And I don't want to waste the taxpayer money. I just want to know... Everything that I have been called on because it's, and listen, it's just validation for me to say, look, I've been harassed and I'm still here. I still live here. I want to stay here in this community, but I want left alone. Okay. So that's why I want the information. That's, that's the only reason it's nothing to, 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 to hem anybody up. Okay. It's because I just want to see every time someone is called about me. Okay. Because as I'm sitting here right now, any, everybody in the room, with the exception of probably Carol, maybe Doug, I don't know, Mr. Morgan probably doesn't like me, but anyway, um, I'm, I'm pretty mellow. I'm, all, I'm, all, I'm, I'm one of the friendliest people in the world. I, will, I stop and help people when they're broke down all the time. I carry more tools with me for somebody else's vehicle, okay, and that's, that's the person I am, so I don't want, that's why, and that's why I'm here. I just wanted to clarify a couple of things that I wanted to ask for. This information again, and if and if, if if you tell me how to word the right to know request, that is exactly how I will word it because I really would like to see the information. You can redact any name at this point. I, I'm fine with that. I just want to see what 
always responded to and I want to see the calls that I have made that have been ignored because I can tell you one for example for one example years ago I had called um, I had called because the probation office came over to my house looking for my girlfriend okay they broke into my house without a warrant okay I called 911 and Officer Fisher, before he was the chief, called me back and said, I, I begged them to come over and secure my house. I didn't know. I was a truck driver. I was in New Jersey all day. I was out jockeying trailers in, 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 in Weehawken, New Jersey. And I wanted to have him come over and secure my home, okay, because he, I, I just wanted that to happen. And he, he said, no, I'm not going to do that. And he hung up the phone on me, okay. I want, see, that's why I want that 911 call just to, just to, and I understand, you know, you could deal with a lot of calls just to show to you, look, look, that happened. That absolutely did happen. Okay. And, and that, that's, that's mainly why there was another incident about a snowblower that I called. Get to the point, John, please. We have a meeting. I just come back. Let's let's Cool. I understand. And I have the first amendment right to speak. So I'm sorry, Mr. Morgan. John, get to the point. I did get to the point. I would like this information. Yes. Sure. Your very first right to know request dealt with police reports. Clear back way prior to the West Hills Regional Police ever taking over South Longboro. Okay. I know that there are certain police reports that cannot be released under CREA. So I did the right thing and contacted a solicitor to say, what can I release? What can I? You got upset that it was Mr. Messina. The commission did the right thing. It wasn't upset. It was a legal thing. All right. Uh, whatever. Whatever it was. You were, you were upset about it, too. You threatened to sue everybody. Nope. The commission, you left us no choice. We needed legal advice. Yes, we had to go to Spence Custer. I released every report to Attorney McElwain. I did not withhold anything. Those reports were released. He reviewed them. He's the one that said no. They, you, I believe you may have appealed it because ADA Crilly, because I got copies of the email, said we were right. Those are reports that couldn't be released. So it's not the West Hills Police that are keeping the reports from you. You filed two more right to know requests. They've been laying on Attorney McElwain's desk for you to pick up. Nobody's denying you reports that you have a right to. They're on his desk. Don't pick them up. Would you like to address why specifically you won't, why you won't, as a courtesy, after I even told you, can't sue you about giving me the reports? Them. Okay, could the, could, okay then, let me, I don't know what else to would tell the you. commission please compel Attorney McElwain to give me this information? They're protected under CREA, Joe. I understand they're protected, the but they could go, they could be gone through and they could be redacted. And the commission could actually vote to give me the information. It's transparency. Look, it happened. So what's, what's there to hide at this point? I released the word. I know you did. Anything. That's why I'm asking the commission, if you would, please, if you would, please, I just want to see what 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 anybody's called about that, that that's all every report we've had since we take over south lawn borough that had your name was released to attorney mccoy okay i did not withhold anything from you thanks ed i had a legal question i did the right thing I yes you did I, and again like i said up until that's that's about the only you know and if if that's what that that's not then i'll ask the commission please to if you wouldn't mind with inf whatever information needs to be redacted or whatever i would like to see a list or some, some kind of this information compiled in some way, if, if at all possible, or at least looked into. I don't know that the commission has the authority. That was the district it. attorney's decision. I don't know. Would the commission be interested in, this will be my last one, you can move on with your meeting. I'm, 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 I won't take any more of your time. Would the, would, if I set, if I filed a right to know request with, the commission worded in a specific way. Could that be? Could 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 the information be given to me in that way? I mean, what I'm hearing is that the, the district attorney's office stated that the Under records Korea, cannot be released. On the way I worded them. Well, then you word it. Go back to go back to them. Well, I have to start at I have to start at step one. So I'll start with the commission. If you guys want to stonewall me on it, I'll just start here then, and we can just. We can just start racking up the dollars, okay? Because it's not my money and it's not your money. It's the taxpayer's money. 
That's all I want. Just, just, give, just give me the information, and we're good. Well, what, let me ask you, why didn't you pick up the other rake and that stuff? Why, why, is, it yeah, why is it laying over there? It was actually there for me to in, inspect, and I don't have to answer that. I don't have to. I don't. No, no, no. Listen to me. Listen to me, Mr. Morgan. I have the. Listen to me, Mr. Morgan. I have the right to complain about anything I want to, protected by the First Amendment. You look at me. You need to understand that. You are a part of the government, so I. You have the. I have the right to redress my grievances with you. If you don't like it, you may easily resign, and you never have to hear my. You never have to hear me complain again. It's just that simple. But I have this right. So let's get that. I have the right. Thank you. Can we move on? Yes, move on to the rest of the news. Chief, you have your monthly report? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, just a few things to mention. Uh, department responded to 442 calls for service uh, last month. Uh, the only other thing, our speed trailer was down for a while. We had some uh, moisture invasion issues with it. Uh, the, Mr. Blasco at Public Works, his crew uh, took care of that. They sealed the unit pretty good to keep the water out, uh, serviced what lights they could on it. So we have that back. Uh, the only other thing, uh, Detective Sergeant West attended several in-depth training classes in Baltimore, Maryland on June 6th and 7th relative to trauma-informed victim interviewing and evidence-based investigation. Uh, that was at total no cost to the department. And the only other thing, um, if you'll check your packets, we got a bunch of nice thank yous from the kids at the elementary school. So other than that, that's all I have for the last month's report. Thank you. All right. financial reports. Um, yes. Uh, in your packet, you've got the uh, financial uh, statements for the ending uh, of May 31st, 2023. And... As it stands on there, revenues for the uh, for the month of uh, date for the through that period uh, also around 43.71 percent of uh, revenues in, which is about two percent above what it uh, normally should be for that five month period. On the expenditure side, so let's see the insurance insurances are they show a low figure right now. That's because you'll you'll have a auditing. See, it's going to come up towards the end of the year. That's the reason why. Uh, other than that, the salaries are running at 44%. Uh, benefits are 45%. Headquarters expense, 52%. And, you know, if you take it down to that five-month period, you're talking 44.67%. So you're right on budget there. Uh, and again, police expense. Some things come due early or early, but at the end of the year it balances out. Where we stand right now for we're right on with expenditures through May, 43.77%. That's exactly where we should be. Uh, if you run to the uh, balances we had on checking account of the uh, first national first Commonwealth Bank uh, at the end of, of uh, 31st of May at 48000 $621.36, and for the balance for the end of uh, May, the uh, First Commonwealth Bank, for the PPO deductibles uh, checking account, was $3,382.31. Which brings into the, we had updated expenses just to come in tonight to uh, for the balance of the month for, her, for payment. Have listed here a revised billing sheet for May 16th, 2023, uh, $48,827.30. And they're kind of all in order. I have to view all the uh, checking accounts, debits, deposits, and everything, and everything's in order. And I submit that for approval for payment of the bill at this time. So moved. Dyer, second? Second. All those in favor? Say aye. 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 That was so good. Well, that's all I have. Okay, we are going to need an executive session to uh, discuss personnel. Uh, personnel. 
Is that the end of the meeting, or is that you guys do the end of the meeting section, or you guys come back? Nothing important. Take care, guys. All right. See ya. Thanks Thank for your you. time.